Open source voice cloning just got a major upgrade. Here's what you need to know about Chatterbox, the latest release from Resemble AI. This isn't just a research prototype. It's actually Resemble's production TTS model, now fully open sourced under the MIT license. As a quick reminder, TTS stands for text to speech, which refers to models that can actually turn text into spoken audio. This model can run on a single GPU and it includes a built-in neural watermark so that you can actually identify whether or not something was AI generated or not. And it challenges the core business models of platforms like 11 Labs by offering a comparable, they say better, solution for free. In blind tests, over 60% of listeners actually preferred Chatterbox to 11 Labs. You can check out their benchmarks at this website. That being said, there are open source voice cloning solutions already around like Zonos or Kokoro, so this isn't the first of its kind. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so to use this, you can go over to this Hugging Face space, and you can see here that you can actually have this optional reference audio file that will provide that voice that you want to clone. That place in the distance, it's huge. So let's go ahead and try exaggerated neutral 0 0.5. I'm gonna generate this. Whoop, zero GPU worker error. So right now it looks like it's having issues, but I did try this yesterday and at 1.25, it was a little buggy and sounded like a little strange. Whereas with 0 0.5, it sounded, sounded pretty, pretty good. good. If you don't wanna have this issue with GPU availability, you can actually go to this page that includes a couple different samples. So we can try here. You know, grandpa goes around and he does his business in my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of... Yes, and you're right. Of course he will be. You'll see. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to play this exaggeration control one because I'm not entirely sure why they would choose an example that includes some bad words. I'm also a little bit disappointed that they don't have more fine-grained controls over emotions, and that is a feature that other commercial platforms have, but it is free, so... In terms of their offering, they mentioned that their hosted versions are good for lower latency use cases or ones that require a bit higher quality. But I do think that in their release, they could have done a better job of really explaining the difference between their hosted version versus this open source version. I'm Diana, and I break down tech startups and AI without the hype. Follow for more.